So I have been looking at a lot of Joan Holloway pictures recently because, duh, I love Mad Men. She is probably my favorite character from Mad Men. She is just so iconically beautiful. Uh, she is very much so that like bombshell archetype, but she is ridiculously smart, keeps the office afloat, like basically keeps everyone's lives running. And she does it all while wearing gorgeous dresses, impeccable hair and makeup and heels. Like Joan Holloway is life goals. So uh, one of the things I noticed in a lot of the pictures is that her hair was frequently styled in a French twist or a modified French twist. And I thought, I gotta do a video on it. I love my Joni so much. They're easy. They are, I know that's very easy for someone to say who does French twists on a semi-regular basis. I am currently on day three of my wet set and while it's holding on pretty well, it is very hot and humid here and I have, I have a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair like on the back of your neck. So today we are doing a French twist and all that you need is a brush, some bobby pins and maybe some hairspray or pomade or spray wax. You know, just anything that you can put in your hair to give it some texture and some more hold, especially if you are starting off with clean hair or your hair just doesn't hold styles very well. So we're going to go through with our lovely brush. I'm using this one by Goody. Um, I like Goody. They're relatively inexpensive. They last for a long time. This one, it has synthetic boar bristles in it plus the longer plastic tipped bristles. So I feel like it does a really good job of detangling your hair gently, because y'all, I am tender headed. Uh, and it also uh, does a really nice job of smoothing everything out. And I just found a bobby pin in my hair from this morning. You know, just, just little girly things constantly finding bobby pins in your hair and your floor and your car and your pets take them and gnomes show up and steal them from you. So I brush it and then like I give my hair a little fluff before I start just to give it a yeah, little, little bit of volume. And you're going to gather your hair like you were doing a low pony but instead of pulling it straight back, you're going to pull it over to the side. And you can play with the positioning of your French twist, whether you want it low, whether you want it high. We're going to go a little high on it today. So I'm pulling mine up closer to the crown of my head. And I use my hand to just smooth the sides a little bit. If you want yours super smooth, use, um, use your brush at this point. You're going to wrap your hair in on itself. So basically, you're going to have a little tube here. Now what I do is I get a bobby pin and I get it in there just to really secure everything. And then I take another bobby pin and I put it through the bottom. And at that point, We'll do one more bobby pin before I let it go. Just make sure that it's really well secured. At that point, you should be able to let it go. And we're off to a good start. 
It has a good shape to it, but it needs a little bit of smoothing and pinning a little bit more to get it more secured. And I don't love how much of the hair is coming down here at the bottom, but that's fixable. Very, very easy to fix too. So I take the hair that's down at the bottom and just give it a little bit of a twist. Get my bobby pin and just slide it up into there. And then I will kind of pull the twist over just a bit and slide a couple of bobby pins into the body of it just to really anchor it into place. And I'm not going to stress a lot about making sure that my bobby pins are perfectly hidden because frankly if somebody is so close that they can see your bobby pins, they are probably too close to you. And then once everything is secured, I do go in with my fingertips and just really gently break things up a little bit. I've mentioned in previous videos um, that I prefer my hair to be a little bit unstructured, especially when it comes to classic hairstyles or things that we would consider like vintage hairstyles, because I feel like it helps to modernize them. It makes them a little bit softer. Um, it prevents it from looking so dated and rigid. Now, if you have bangs, you can either leave them down. Uh, if your bangs are long enough, you can pull them over to the side and do like a little pin curl at the end. Um, that's beautiful with it. You can also pin them off to the side or to give you a little bit more volume at the front, you can just pull your bangs back so that it's a little bit more incorporated with the hair. You can pin it back. You can actually just brush it straight back with your fingertips and give it like a little spritz with hairspray. I prefer mine a little bit more down. And of course I have one little part of my bang that is not wanting to lay right. Give it a little bit of a pin so it pulls more off to the side. And that is it. Um, doing this at a slowed down speed. I got this done in seven minutes. And we are done. We are ready for the day. You can always add uh, flowers into it, little rhinestones. Um, you can tie a pretty scarf around it. They are incredibly versatile. There's a whole bunch of different versions of French twists. Um, and I will do a video on like the different versions of it later, but this is just a really classic French twist. Let me show you the back real quick. And that is it. profile of a French twist because it's just so uh, like I'm a boss lady don't mess with me all right thank you guys so much for watching if you are not subscribed already uh, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with me if you like this give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it sorry hopefully I win you over with the next one and drop me a comment on something that you think that I should do all right, y'all have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.